Hello and welcome to Tech 18. I am Ahmad Adnan. In this video, we are going to discuss about how to get the dynamic x-axis in Power BI. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed it, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. So let me show you this example how it react. Now I am into Power BI desktop and you can see these two things are the static one which I have added this here the sum of sales amount and it is coming from dim sales territory and this is the other one which is coming from dim product category and here this is the one which is the new one and coming from dynamic axis table and here if I select category it shows up this thing and if you can see these two values are matching and if I select here country then this value and these values are matching now and if I select subcategory obviously which is not here but this also shows the result of the subcategory here. So this is how it can be done. So there are a couple of ways which you can do here. So either you can do this by using a bookmark option. You can create these two different visuals and also you can use the bookmark button and also you can do these kind of stuff. So I made a separate video on this topic also. So if you haven't seen that, just please go and check out that video as well. But apart from that, there is also one more way which you can do that. So what it is. So basically what I need to do, let me go now to Power Query Editor, Home and then Transform Data. And uh, here, what the simple stuff which I have done here is basically this is a dynamic axis. So I use the three things. One is a dynamic sales territory and then categories and subcategory, right? Okay, so if I click on the category axis one, so and the basically if I go to advanced editor now here I can see this is coming directly from the SQL server and then I remove other columns whatever I don't need and I just rename these things here. So let me go step by step here. So what I have done here is ideally or else let me just zoom this power query editor this should be control shift and then plus. So by clicking on control plus shift it zooms up in power query editor. So here this is a navigation and I just removed the unnecessary columns here and I just rename this to the ID to be value and the name of the category to be name as a heading. And after that I just added a one static column which is just shows the group. I just want to uh, use it in the slicer. So that's why I added is this as a category one. So if you look at this one, it's just a plain add calculated column. It just says the category inside to this one. That's it. So the similar way I have done it for the subcategory and also for the sales territory country. Exactly. I removed the unnecessary column, just rename the headings to be value name and group. Everything is fine. After that, I just use this one append as new table right here. Append queries on the top ribbon and then append queries as a new one. So in that what I have done, I just created a new one which includes all these three tables. This is basically the category, country and the subcategory. So see here category, sales territory, country and the subcategory. So as these columns or three of the columns are the same name. So it just added everything here as a value, name and group here. That's it. So by doing these two things, that's not enough for now because we need to do a couple of things in Power BI Desktop as well. So I just close and apply here and come back to Power BI Desktop. So after this, you just need to go to this relationship and then you need to create a relationship between the product category and the subcategory and the sales territory whatever you have country so whatever you have added it here right and few more things which you need to keep in mind is the advantage of this one is whatever report you had already developed and you want to build this kind of functionality on top of that. So you can do that. So there is no kind of break in your report if you do this kind of stuff, right? That's the why we are creating additional table. And from this table, we are creating a relationship between the two table, which is a dim table, dim product category, the real one, dim product subcategory and dim sales territory country one. So I have just created a relationship between these two tables and these relationship has to be inactive and it has to be a multi-directional, I mean bi-directional relationship. 
because if the user wants to filter something as in the some report on the visual by category table itself then it has to filter this axis or if they want to do it filtration on this one dynamic axis one then also it has to filter that in category so this is the reason here and now you may wonder about as uh, these are inactive one how you are going to use that right yeah that's a good point so let me show you one thing so here on this chart what i use here is just use the axis uh, as a name so which is coming from the dynamic axis table this is the name name is nothing but it just shows this bike axis in clothing or you know just australia uk something like that and here i just added one more measure here which is dynamic group sales okay so if i go to this measure so what i'm getting up here is let me zoom this here itself okay so here i'm just using declaring a variable which is a selected val it means selected value of dynamic x axis group this basically takes a value from the slicer which i have added it on this slide on this page so if you go to this is slicer this is coming from the group name from the axis table okay let's go back to this one so that's it right and after that i just use the return here and the switch function i used here i just use the switch function here switch this selected value one if it is a category then i am using this calculate sum of sales amount and use relationship function here i am activating that particular relationship so dynamic axis value comma dim product category key so this will now make a relationship active only for this calculation purpose on this visual and then it will give me the result the same way i just used it here for sub category also so for sub category i am using it the same thing calculate sum of sales amount the sales amount is just a plain one calculate sum of sales amount that's it from fact internet sales table and here the use relationship one which is the dynamic axis and here only the change of this one this is not going to change the value column because that's the one which is we are appending we appended all these three tables into one so this one will not change only this one will change if it is if it is category then it's from category if it is sub category then it's from sub category if it is country then it's from dim cell state country key that's it if we do this and add this into a visual and also add a slicer on the page then your job is done if you filter anything on this one then it's also going to show you the result based on that this is how it is so this is one other way which you can do this one dynamic axis in power bi if you like this video just click on the big thumbs up button if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications but make sure you turn on the notification on your devices share it with your friends and colleagues if you have any queries and feedback just post it on the comment section below thanks for watching keep learning see you in the next video